Oh, hi. Welcome to Advent of Svelte, day three. We've gotten a lot of snow up here at the Svelte Pole, and we'd love to share some with you using Svelte attachments. Let's go inside. Let's start with a basic attachment. Let it snow is just a function that accepts a DOM node, initializes a snow object, which is a canvas-based snow generator, and returns a teardown function. Let's attach it to our snow div element, and voila, it's snowing. This is great, but what if we want to pass in some parameters to our snow constructor? We can convert let it snow from an attachment function into an attachment factory, which is just a function that wraps and returns an attachment. This allows us to pass in some options which get applied to our snow object. Now, when we attach it to our snow div, we need to call the let it snow factory and pass in the options we want. And now we've got fancier snow. This also makes it super easy to add a background element with some different snow options. And finally, we can add some state with a slider that modifies the number of snowflakes. Attachments are inherently reactive, so the attachment function reruns when the state changes. At this point, you might be asking, why do we need attachments when we already have actions? Put simply, attachments are better. They have a simpler API, they're inherently reactive, and most importantly, they're spreadable. So a wrapper component can accept attachments and spread them onto one of their elements. That's it. You can find more in our attachment API docs or in our newly released attachment tutorial.